Hello everybody, my name is Jake and today we're doing something a little bit different. Today I'm actually just going to go through a book haul that I made. It's going to be kind of a easygoing format, going to be pretty pretty rough. The reason why is because I want to be able to put more content out and hopefully videos that don't take a week to edit like my normal reviews. <laughs> and so let's get right to it. Alright, let's get down to it. And yes, in my past life I did Moonlight as a hand model. But let's just start going through these. The first is by Keith Lommer. It's called The Shape Changer. Now, I have quite a few Keith Lommer books, but I've never read a single one. I have to say, this cover is absolutely hideous. So, naturally, I was drawn to it. You see, it's in pretty good shape. There's the back. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, it's it's got an ad here for some cigarettes, and it caused it to, the spine to break. That's probably why it was a dollar. Next, we have Journey Beyond Tomorrow by Robert Sheckney. I've never read anything by Robert Sheckney, though I do have quite a few of his works as well. Sorry about the lighting, you guys, the glare. I'll get all this figured out at a later date. Journey Beyond Tomorrow, and it figures kind of a kind of a dumpy looking fellow on, the, on there. No shoes, a lot of stuff happening in the background. Kind of a bland cover. There's the back of it there. And it's, wow, it's in really great condition, the pages. Yeah, Robert Checkney. Next we have Conquest of Earth by Manly Bannister. What a name. I do, <laughs> the cover's cool. I love this guy, looks like he's just, he's over it. He's just had enough <laughs> of whatever's happening here. Um, maybe this is his family down here yelling at him. Why'd you break all that sci-fi junk? And he's just, he is just over it. This is by, uh, this is an Airmont book, and wow, it's actually, pff, this is in fantastic condition. Is it good? I don't know. It'll go in the review pile. Next, we have Skylark of Valerian by E.E. E. Doc Smith. I have quite a bit of Doc Smith. They're all kind of silly from what I've seen, at least from the, judging from the covers, but I've never actually read any of his stuff yet. This cover is goofy, but it's kind of cool. I like it. What's happening? What are these things? I don't know. It's kind of cool. It's a pyramid book. There's the back cover there. And it's in, it's in pretty good shape too. Hmm. It was in the dollar, on the dollar shelf as well. But honestly, a lot of times they'll do that if they just have too much of a certain copy of book I've seen. This is John Gore of The Lost Land by Robert Moore Williams. And this looks like a Frazetta. Yep, it is. You see right down there, Frank Frazetta cover. Um, clearly, John Gore is trying to be, or trying to, uh, is a Tarzan clone. Um, we got some apes here that are just getting beat up. Listen, I don't know what you know about chimps and apes, but uh, one chimp would probably beat five guys. <laughs> There's a lady in the background there, as per Frank Frazetta. It's in pretty good shape, no issue there. Oh, greater than Tarzan, says so right there, told ya. By popular library. I don't know that I've reviewed anything by popular library yet, but uh, yeah. Oh, pages are kind of dirty. Kid. Actually, it's just, I don't know if they're dirty as much as it is just the low, low quality paper. Yeah, it's, that's every page. Interesting. Anyway, John Gore, The Lost Land. This is Wave Without a Shore by C.J. Sherry? Is that how you pronounce that? Is that just a fancy way of saying Sherry? But Hugo winning author. This is a Daub book. This one's in pretty rough shape here in the spine. Um, I actually really like that cover. That's the reason why I bought it. Oh, is that? There's the folks there. Uh, it shows some guy just trying to, trying to, trying to chisel something, chisel some face, and he's getting bothered by this alien guy with tentacles coming out. He looks mildly annoyed. Like, what are you doing, alien? Can't you see I'm working here? Sorry we're having a hard time focusing. I got always I get my lighting here figured out. But uh yeah, as I said before, I just want to whoops. I just want to be able to put out more videos that don't require hours upon hours upon hours of editing. This is uh Isaac Asimov introduces the unknown. It's a compilation of unknown stories, uh kind of the best of. That that cover is absolutely wild. <laughs> I don't know if I hate it or love it. I really don't. Um, it's another pyramid book, 
But yeah, we got some Henry Kuttner, some L. Sprague de Camp, Theodore Sturgeon, Frederick Brown. I like compilation albums and these kind of, I haven't reviewed any of these yet, but I have so many of them. Um, yeah, maybe someday. Next, we have Alien Island by T.L. Sherrod. Sherrod. This cover sucks. <laughs> this cover is so bad. Oh my gosh, it's colorful, it's fun, but what does it mean? Alien Island. This is not an island. Actually, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of when you have like a, you know, your mother-in-law is like, I've been doing some abstract art. And you're like, oh yeah. And you go and she shows you in her guest bedroom and there's this, oh yeah, it looks, looks real good, bud. I love the colors. A hopeless drunk was the only earth representative the Regans would accept. Well, what's the Regans problem? Next, we have Naked to the Stars by Gordon R. Dickinson. Dixon, excuse me. Uh, this is a pyramid book, and this thing looked like it's been left outside for <laughs> half of its life. Oh my gosh. This guy's in rough shape. Pages are in rough shape, too. Woo! Well, we know why this guy was a dollar. Um, I, the, co the cover's kind of fun. This guy's like, there's all these dead bodies behind here, and this guy's like, what? Nothing. Don't you? Know, what? Nothing. Don't look over here. Keep keep walking. Naked to the stars. All right. Next is Star Rider by Doris Pisertia. Is that how you say that? Pisertia. I'm willing to bet you anything that's a pen name. But Star Rider. It's a Bantam book. Yeah, it's in good shape too. Yeah, great shape actually. Looks good. The cover's cool. I like all the all the little artwork there. There's a there's a lady there who's wearing typical fantasy armor, and uh, I actually really like this. Except it is kind of funny that uh, you know, if you were on a flying horse, listen, I know you look you look sexier, but if you're on a flying horse, you don't be side saddle like this. You know, you're flying, so we know you look better, but just straddle the horse with a saddle and a seat belt or something, lady. Come on, lady. But yeah, that's, that one looks cool. Next up, Prisoners of the Sky by C.C. McCapp. Ooh, a blazing novel. Never before published. Um, this is a Lancer book, Prisoners of the Sky. Again, please bear with me. I'm getting this new format figured out. I literally just set up the camera in my living room and locked the door, locked the dog in his closet. Yeah, the cover is cool actually. I really like it. It's by somebody named Stur Sturanko. And it looks like a lot of alcohol ink or something up here. And oh, Clark Gable's mad because they made him shave off his mustache. So, or maybe he's a prisoner. That's why he's mad. Sorry, Clark. Yeah, this one looks pretty cool. I'm excited to read this one. Robert Sheckley again. Dimension of Miracles. Death stalked him through the galaxies. This cover is awesome. I'm gonna actually put this one in my review stack only because this cover is so stinking cool. Can you guys see that? Well, again, sorry about the lighting. I gotta get this figured out. Yep, there's a giant egg with a galaxy in there. On the nose a bit, eh, I'm excited. I'm interested. It's cool. It's not in the best shape. It's been read a few times. Earth Hunt. Yeah, I got some pages look good. Bang's nice and tight, but yeah, it's clearly been well loved. We'll see. I'm I'm curious to read Robert Sheckney. I haven't yet. And next is Space Platform by Murray Leinster. Murray Leinster? I haven't heard it pronounced yet, so this is it. This is it. Ripped from tomorrow's headline, Space Platform, an amazingly prophetic science fiction adventure. Oh, Belmont, are you sure about that? We'll see. The thing with Murray Leinster is I have so much Murray Leinster. I ha almost have as much Murray Leinster as I do have Andre Norton, simply because every book lot I buy, I mean, every bookshelf and every bookstore I've been on is just bursting with these two. This guy's dirty. This is a dirty book as well. I don't know if you guys can tell, but probably is in the, the dollar rack. I don't know if Murray Leinster's any good, 
Um, I'm a little bit apprehensive with how prolific he appears to be, but I'll review him at some point. All in all, not a bad haul for 13 bucks. Anyways, I want to thank you guys for all your support thus far in my book reviewing endeavors. Um, I've gotten a lot of encouragement, a lot of support from a lot of you, and I really want to thank you those who are in the, the booktube or the book review communities for reaching out and giving me encouragement as well. It really means a lot to me. I want to keep doing this type of stuff in addition to my big, long, crazy, stupid reviews, um, the book hauls, and eventually maybe some specialty book showcases uh, just to kind of uh, share what I have, share my finds, because I love this treasure hunting aspect of uh, what I do. So again, thank you all so much. See you next time.